So here's the problem that uh, you might run into if you're trying to print a slippery filament or a very soft filament on the Bamboo Lab A1. The one mini is already modified as you can see with the modified extruder lever and we're going to do that to so do that to the A1 here. Uh, but just to go over the problem you can see it's under extrusion and eventually it looks like a clog because the filament will just stop coming out of the filament the the the, the nozzle rather uh, and so what's actually happening is not a clog and what's happening is the extruder gear is just kind of slipping over the filament and it's not putting enough pressure on it to get it through the nozzle and you wind up with this under extrusion and uh, it, it'll eventually stop it before you begin this operation, you're going to want to make sure that your workbench does not look anything like mine. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of... By removing this cover, you just pull it off. And then the next thing you do is you remove this PTFE tube. Uh, you're going to want to have a pair of pliers or something like that handy to depress this little plastic piece to remove that tube. And also, you're going to want from your bamboo kit these little wrenches. So now that you've removed the PTFE tube, uh, you're going to want to unscrew uh, these screws up here which hold the mechanism that holds the PTFE tube. There's one on the right and there's one on the left. screws on the magnet there you go I want to take, take out this splitter and you want to be extremely careful because in the in the back of it there is an extremely thin ribbon cable and you do not want to damage it so I take a piece of tape put it over the whole assembly that way it's not moving around because you got some more work to do on this thing Next, you're going to remove all of these screws that I'm about to remove. This one. And this one. This one in the back. Way in the back. Magnet comes in handy again. There it is. And on the right in the back, you remove the upper screw, not the lower screw. Do this slowly because things can things can pop out once you get to this point. I'm not sure if it's this top screw or the bottom screw, but you want to be careful. Uh, I just lost that screw somewhere in the assembly, so make sure that we don't lose it again by watching for it to fall out. Once we undo this, you can see this filament cutter lever coming down so just watch that because things can kind of pop loose there okay you can now remove this entire assembly and if you lost that screw inside this is when it's going to come out so watch for it. There it is. Things like this, it's best to be super patient. Do not force anything. Okay. 
Oh, okay, I forgot that. You gotta remove this first. That's what was giving me the trouble. This comes right off of there. Okay, now, now we've, we've removed that cover and we can see gear in here. And what we're gonna be modifying is this guy right here. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull it off. Well, it's easier said than done. And that's, that's the spring. You gotta watch for the spring. That'll get away on you. Our extruder lever with the little wheel in there and our goal is to get that wheel out. And there's a lot of different ways to do this. Uh, it's not too easy, but the best way I've found is to take one of these guys, put this on a semi-soft surface, and whack it with a hammer. So I'll be right back. So once you've got that thing partially uh, through with your hammer, take your pliers, and gently remove it. You don't want to scuff it. I've got another little metal piece that you cannot lose. Put that on your magnet. And here's the extruder lever. Take the wheel out of it. And here's our printed extruder lever. Put the wheel in it and it should snap in if, if you printed this nicely now take your your pin put it in through the hole and if hammering is not working so well for you another strategy you can use is to pinch it in with your pliers And now what we have to do is put everything back in place. So, just to uh, sort of understand what's going on here, you want to put that there. And then, and we're, we're missing a metal piece. Okay, we found the metal piece. Can you spot the metal piece? It's right there. It dropped in that little slot right there. Boom. Okay, so that might be where your metal piece went if you also lost the metal piece. So, I'm going to take a little thing. There it is. There it is, guys. Okay. Now we can get back to where we were here. Put the lever, lever goes this way, okay, and this is the most complicated part, okay, this is not easy to do, uh, you're going to want to have good hands for this somehow, uh, this thing goes like so. See that? Spring goes like that. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take this. We're going to put the spring inside the lever cavity. We're going to take the lever, put it on, and then push the spring. And there you go. Okay? There you go. And you can fiddle with it from there, depress it, push it, all right. And like I was saying, this, this cable right here, that's bad news. You don't want to do what I just did, so be more careful. All right, now we just do the steps in reverse. And put this doohickey back on. And this filament thing goes inside this slot. 
put the filament cutter inside that slot. So pull. Okay. To press this, push your filament cutter in, take your long screw, push it through the the hole in the filament cutter lever, or at least get it started. Shit. Oh, dude, where is it, dude? Press this. Push in the lever. Screw goes in the hole. Wrench goes in the screw. Start turning. Turn like your life depends on it. Okay, and as you get that screwed in, you'll know because that lever will pop out like that. Things stay nice and connected. comes a very important part the reassembly process and that's getting this ribbon back in so you don't want to force it at all try not to even touch it but also you want to guide it if you have to into the hole back into the hole there we go and now it's on top and we can put in those two smaller screws Here's before, here's after, there's the extruder mod.